Sage Wonder coming at you from my van down by the river. So, um, yeah, I'm not coming at you from a parallel universe. This is not a dream. My phone's just jacked up. I dropped it and broke the camera, so I'll have to get a new one as soon as I can. Uh, I wanted to talk once again today about the, the idea of these military tribunals and the idea of declaring martial law in... Um, uh, in America for the purpose of going after the deep state. The thing that Alex Jones and, and you know, Mike the Health Ranger are talking about. Um, because in my comments section, one of my viewers, and, and hats, tip of the hat to my viewers, who are so chill that we can have a discussion about this without getting mad and flying off the handle. Uh, I'm very passionate about this because I ain't going to the FEMA camp. If you know me, you know that. <laughs> I ain't going. Uh, you know, I'm going into slavery in a body bag, not in chains. I'm, I was born free and I'll die free. And for those of you that think I'm not free, come over here and try to take my freedom away and see what happens. You won't like it. It won't be fun for either one of us. So, um, <laughs> we'll snatch each other bald-headed. That's what they say down in Texas. I'll snatch you bald-headed. Um... But yeah, one of my viewers was like, okay, so you don't like the military tribunals things. How do we deal with these uh, seditionous, treasonous members of the deep, deep state? We can agree these guys are bad. What we're disagreeing about is on how you deal with it. And suspending the Constitution, declaring martial law, having military tribunals should not be on the table. You do not give the warriors the power to lead the country. I'm sorry, I'm pro-military, but most of my military men will tell you that the military is made up of individuals who specialize in destruction. They're not nation builders, they're not social workers, they're, they're there to create killing machines that destroy things, kill people, and blow crap up. And they're good at it. They're not supposed to run countries. We cannot declare military martial law because if we do, our civilian government becomes subjected to the United States military. And as much as I love the military, you guys got to understand, you don't give the guard dogs the keys to the freezer. They'll eat all the meat. <laughs> I know that sounded like a George Wism, a little Texan coming out here. But you, you understand that the Constitution is a leash. A very strong, restrictive leash that keeps our United States military on the right side of the people. By force. By rule of law. And that if there's any reason to think that our military is not under the rule of law, we have a major problem here. And so the last thing that any of us want to do is suspend the Constitution. Um, if you believe otherwise, I disagree with you. <laughs> okay? We can agree to disagree. But one of my viewers said, hey, you know, Sage... It's easy to poke holes in this, but what's your answer? What would you do? So here in a nutshell is what I would do under these current circumstances if I were Donald Trump and trying to save our nation from eventual ruin. What I would do is I would drain the swamp. And I would do that by utilizing the authority already vested in me by the United States of America according to the U.S. Constitution and the rule of law. Donald Trump, the president, whoever he might be, is in fact the leader of the executive branch. All of these turncoats are almost all of them exclusively in the executive branch. You know, you can't do anything about the senators and the congressmen. They're elected by the people. But these people that are employees of the United States federal government all answer directly to Donald Trump in what's called the executive branch. Um... In that area, he has undisputed power and authority. He is the commander-in-chief. So I would utilize that power, leave the Constitution alone, and utilize the authority vested in me as president. And I would undo the FBI. I wouldn't ask permission. I wouldn't denounce it. I would just show up with the United States, uh, uh, with the uh, U.S. Marshals Service and their tactical team, and we would just show up at every FBI headquarters, if we had to draft people in from various state police to assist us, we would. And we would just bolt the doors on the Federal Bureau of Investigation, suspend everyone there under suspicion of sedition, and only those after lengthy investigations would be cleared. All others would be, uh, would be deemed 
uh, unworthy of their job, summarily permanently dismissed and banned from public service for five years in the executive branch or in any law enforcement. And all of that is within the power of the Constitution and the presidential power and his control over the executive branch. If you ask me, Donald Trump at this point is either in on it with the globalists or he is uh, being very, very wimpy. Because I already would have fired Rosenstein, and if the New York Times don't like it, well, they can pack sand. People seem to like that little saying I got going off. Tell them they can pack sand. <laughs> That's uh, back when people were more polite about their insults. I'm not sure what pack sand means, but uh, maybe it means packing sandbags. That's a dirty job. Nobody wants to do it. But anyway, or maybe that they means they're going to carry sandbags. I could care less. My point is, uh, these, these people cannot be allowed to... Uh, continue to hold their positions and their jobs and I would dismantle the FBI shut it all down and I would do this I would do some intense almost um, McCarthy era investigations into who's a communist in the federal government and these people that are that are using uh, look at the Veritas videos these people in particular should be absolutely dismissed their reputations uh, rightfully destroyed and uh, nobody in their right mind would ever hire these people again uh, except maybe PetSmart I hear they're kind of desperate these days so you know what would I do I would drain the stupid swamp Geez, it's not that hard. Uh, the congressman, you know, you got to let the people do that. So I would probably, you know, make sure everybody knew who was who and who's supporting what. And I think the lines are being drawn in the sand and everybody's making known who they are and what they, what they stand for. But uh, there's a whole lot better ways, more legal ways, and, and uh, quite honestly, simpler ways of doing this than military tribunals, which make you look like a dictator. I mean, Trump, does he really need any more help looking like a dictator? I mean, they're already trying to put this on him and make him look like one. You think he's going to start acting like one? It just doesn't make sense to me. But it does make sense to shut it down. Shut it all down. Take the money away. You know, send everybody home. Make them civilians again. Make them ordinary people. And uh, I would do that to all of these that are involved in it. And some agencies I would just deem as unnecessary. You know... If you close down the FBI, just transfer all of their cases to the states where the crimes were committed. Uh, the FBI was originally designed for the purpose of handling interstate crime in a time when we uh, couldn't track inter interstate crime. But now interstate crime in the Internet, uh, you know, the Internet's allowed the states now to communicate in a way they never could before and to cooperate in catching these interstate criminals. And we don't need an FBI law enforcement any longer. And they've clearly proven that at the highest levels they're corrupt. And who knows where the corruption stops. The old saying, one bad apple ruins the whole bunch. You know, if you ask me, these organizations are corrupted and they need to be thinned out. And these people need to be replaced with true patriots, true Americans who understand that their job is to stop lawbreakers, not to uh, force their political opinions on other people. And to try to control our government and its direction of leadership. Uh, they're followers, not leaders. They're not supposed to lead. They're supposed to follow. They're hired, not elected. If you want to lead, you got to be elected. And that's the bottom line here. So, yeah, there's a lot of different ways to deal with this within the um, existing system without declaring martial law and destabilizing our society. And I have to think, if, if Donald Trump was going to do anything, wouldn't he just use the authority he already has? And if they don't like it, well, they can kiss your whatever you want to put in there. Foot was what we used to say in elementary school. All right, God save our republic.